Hi, I'm Jonathan Victor, and I'm going to teach you how to use the web-based scheduling sign-up system called Doodle. Among other things, it's great for inviting parents to conferences. Okay, the first step is to create an account. You do that by going to www.doodle.com. You'll get a screen that looks like this. You want to click Log In. You don't have an account yet, though, so you click Create Account. When you click that, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Make sure to give them your school email address and to click I accept the terms of service. Once you do that, you'll be given a screen that looks like this. Give me a minute to bring it up for you. It says, thanks, please follow the activation instructions in the email from Doodle. You'll be getting an email, check your school account, and that will look like this. Hopefully it won't show up in your junk mail, but please check your junk mail just in case. So once you've done that, and you click the link in your email, you'll be brought to the dashboard for Doodle. This screen is called the Doodle Dashboard. This is what you'll see once you've created an account and signed in. If you've already had some polls where you're inviting people to sign up for things, you'll see them down here. Otherwise, this will be blank, but you'll still have the option to schedule an event. This is the next big step. So you want to click Schedule an Event. That'll bring up a wizard where you can specify some things about your event. Give it a title. You have the option of giving it a location and a description. You want to put in your name, and you do want to put in your school email address. Then click Next. Now you choose the dates. Once you've done that, Next again, and Time Slots. You can put in as many different time slots as you want, and you can write them however you want. All right, then you click Next, and you're at a screen where you can choose the basic poll, or you can choose to edit some advanced settings. You need to choose advanced settings, and here's why. I'll walk you through from the bottom up. The fourth one, all the way at the bottom, is the most important. It says, limit the number of participants per option. If you don't choose this, let's say you invited Mrs. Smith and Mr. Jones, they could both sign up for the same time slot, and you'd have them both in the room at 8 o'clock, and you wouldn't be able to talk with them both at the same time. So make sure to check this option and say just one participant per time slot. Okay, let's work up again. Here's the third from the top. Participant can choose only one option. You want to think about this one. If you have it selected, that means that if I sent an invitation to Mrs. Smith, she can only choose one time slot. If I don't have it selected, she could choose to come at 8 o'clock and 8.30. There are some situations where two parents might want to come at different times and you only have one email address for them. So in that situation, you want to leave this unchecked. Otherwise, if you want to make sure only one time slot per invitation, you want to check that option. Okay, next one is hidden poll. You want to make sure that this is unchecked, and here's why. Later on, you are going to be inviting your division head. So keep in mind, the reason for this is you want your division head to be able to see who's coming and when are they coming and things like that. If it's a hidden poll, your division head won't be able to get the information that they need. So make sure to leave this box unchecked. And this box, you don't need it, so you can leave it unchecked as well, the one for yes, no, if need be. Okay, so you've checked this box, and maybe you've checked this box, your choice. Now you click Finish, and it brings you to a screen where you can start inviting people. That screen looks like this. You enter some email addresses, you separate them by commas, and remember, Please remember to invite your division head. Okay. There's an option at the bottom to send a message describing the event so they know what to do. Please ask them in their message to give their full name when they're entering the poll information. Otherwise, I don't know who doglover at AOL.com would be. So make sure they put in their full name. Okay. Now your poll is all set up, you've invited people, and they're going to 
get an email that looks like this. Here we go. Jonathan Victor invites you to participate in a poll. They click a link. And let me see, I think I can even bring up an example of what that link would look like when they click it. Here we go. So if I'm a parent and I was invited, I'll see something like this. And I'll see the time slots that other people picked. And if I had more time slots, I'd be able to pick an available one. So that's what parents see. Now you have some options too if you need to edit your poll or make some changes later on. Because when you create a poll, you'll get an email that looks like this. And you can use the link to manage your poll later on. This is what the administration page looks like. It lets you make changes to a poll you've already created or keep track of what's going on. You can get here by logging back into Doodle or by clicking the link that you get when you create a poll. You have options like closing the poll, editing the poll, sending notifications, contacting the invitees, inviting more people, seeing who's missing, and managing the comments that might have been made. So this is a great way to keep track of what's going on and now you're really in control of all of your poll settings. All right, so I'm Jonathan Victor, and I hope that helps.